We live in an extraordinary time of progress, of discovery in astrophysics and cosmology. And Carnegie Mellon University and the McWilliams Center for Cosmology and Astrophysics are placed in uh, the best um, sort of conditions to carry out this research. The center really lies at the crossroads of new scientific discovery in astrophysics, in cosmology, but also in data science, in AI, in machine learning. We've developed simulations that we couldn't even dream of five years ago. We now have a team that can both handle the data, um, develop new physics-based simulations, and place ourselves in a, in, in a really sweet spot uh, to probe the cosmos through messenger astrophysics in a unique way. The McWilliams Center for Cosmology and Astrophysics, hosted here at Carnegie Mellon University, is really positioning itself as a leader in the field of multi-messenger astronomy, not just because we have people who work on things that emit light and things that don't emit light, but we actually uh, have a whole faculty that share a wide range of tools that range from theory to simulation to computation and forging a path that actually develops new methods with each of these tools. So instead of using software that's developed other places, we develop software here. Instead of using AI techniques that other people have developed, we're developing AI techniques here. And instead of using other people's observations, we actually are taking observations here to follow up um, with telescopes, multi-messenger sources that we've seen through gravitational waves. One of the things that we're engaging in is trying to find electromagnetic counterparts to gravitational wave events, namely neutron stars that are merging with other neutron stars, or a black hole that is merging with another black hole, or a neutron star that is merging with another black hole. So we have to deal with these very large data sets, whether it's from galaxy surveys or sky surveys that are imaging the sky over and over again, uh, looking for these very fast transients. Um, and so you need kind of big data techniques and machine learning to help you uh, analyze those data and analyze it fast. Having access to the VERA cluster at the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center, I think has enabled a lot of the science that we're able to do here. We were able to run an entire semester of data from the dark energy camera uh, in just three days. Uh, and that's not something that we were able to do before. The McWilliams Center has been involved with the LSST Discovery Alliance um, for well over a decade. The Discovery Alliance was established to support science with the Vera Rubin Observatory Legacy Survey of Space and Time, or LSST, a large sky survey that is going to start in the next year. The Legacy Survey of Space and Time, LSST, is gonna basically be like a 10-year color movie of the entire southern sky. So we'll have all the data we need to make major discoveries about the origin of our solar system, the Milky Way, the evolution of the universe, but we don't have the software. So uh, Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Washington are co-leading the LINK Frameworks effort to develop software infrastructure that will support the entire LSST scientific community in extracting scientific discoveries. Four years ago, we got an award from the National Science Foundation for a planning institute in AI and physics in order to extract more about our science from it and in order to um, potentially move AI forward. Because the data sets we deal with in some cases are among the most complex in the, in the universe. Over the course of the past three years, we've had interactions, seminars, workshops, whatever, which had people who were astronomers, people who were particle physicists, people who are biologists, mechanical engineers, climate scientists, uh, statisticians, computer scientists, all in the same room, trying to come together on a topic where people are coming from completely different starting points. We have people who've been working on cosmology and astrophysics for years, um, and the people in computer science, they've been working on various aspects of, of foundational computer science, but that field moves so fast that we cosmologists and astrophysicists here, we just don't know what the, the real advances are. And that's what we, we need, why we need to talk to each other. And so uh, that way we can actually be at the cutting edge of, of AI. The next step in these AI simulations is incorporating more physics. So pieces of physics that go into them, the equations right now are just gravity and dark matter. And we'd like to incorporate material that's in stars 
that's in galaxies, um, gas and dust in the universe into our models. And that's a difficult thing to do, but the AI framework gives us a way of doing it quickly. As we look at the future, we're excited to see that a multi-messenger astronomy and gravitational waves are going to provide for us new ways to explore the cosmos. And uh, here we've developed this team that is ready to seize um, this, the opportunities that this amazing new data uh, that is coming along has um, in terms of the new technological development and the right team, the right tools assembled here to understand our universe better and better.